Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Watch Hobby, and I'm today I'm going to do a very uh, short video review on this Triton um, 1000 Titanium Titan from uh, Steinhardt. Uh, this particular watch came out uh, this year, and when I saw it being advertised, uh, I was uh, quickly taken um, by the specification that was actually given uh, for this watch. Now this watch is made out of titanium. Uh, it's able to dive to close to 1000 meters and it has a uh, automatic HEV valve, uh, uh, helium escape valve uh, for professional uh, saturation divers. Now those are the things that really interest me and I decided to uh, get one. This watch has a Typical design layout, uh, crown is at 4 o'clock, the HEV valve is at uh, 2 o'clock, three hands, uh, date aperture at 6 o'clock, uh, a 120 click unidirectional bezel, uh, and a very nice uh, etching uh, at the case back, uh, solid case back. Um, it is 45 millimeter uh, across. Uh, Lugs is 24 millimeter and lug to lug is approximately 55 millimeter. In terms of height, it is approximately 15 uh, millimeter. Now, one one of the things which uh, interests me again uh, from a visual point of view is the way the lug pins are attached uh, to the main casing. As you can see, it uses a hex screw and. Um, and this is where the uh, the lug rods go through uh, to be attached to the casing. So you can see the, there you have all the, the four corners of the lugs, uh, which requires a, a lug screwdriver to be able to access it. Um, well, now uh, from that perspective, I think one one of, the, one of the things that you need to take note is the fact that as you look at the lug, the lug is straight out. Uh, it's not bent over or uh, into into towards the wrist now this has the effect of um, making it rather difficult or uh, makes it uh, slightly uncomfortable uh, for wearers with uh, thin wrist now if you have a very if you have a thin wrist um, this may hang uh, when you wear it uh, apart from that if you like big watches man, this is really cool um, other design thing which you need to note is the fact that uh, the Steinhardt logo is on the top surface of the crown and it's a screw down crown the, and then there's also this uh, etching of, of 180 m uh, 100 m atmosphere or 1000 meters which tells you the uh, water rating of this particular watch as a dive watch uh, one thing that is uh, a bit interesting is the fact that uh, it comes with a, a vintage uh, double laid leather strap now i'm not sure whether this is meant uh, for you to go uh, in, uh, straight uh, into the sea uh, by wearing this because i don't think this leather would be able to sustain long in, in sea water uh, the best would always be a silicon strap uh, or rubber strap uh, as a diving, diving watch uh, but Steinhardt decided to uh, pair it standard with this uh, leather strap for whatever reason another interesting thing which I also wanted to highlight the fact of the bezel now the bezel is titanium DLC the uh, markers and the, the numbers on the bezel uh, are also are actually painted on uh, on it uh, it is not etched at all now this has a problem to me as you know as a, as a diver the likelihood of brushing this against abrasive surfaces is very very well likely and if you have your markers painted on the likelihood that the, the paint the paint can flick off can can be scratched off is very very high so I'm not sure uh, what is the reasoning behind um, them not actually etching those mark markers into the bezel itself? Um, another 
issue which I have, uh, which I think is actually quite uh, critical, is the fact that if you look at the uh, promotional uh, stuff that came out with this watch uh, from the from the website of uh, Steinhardt and all, uh, you note that it says that it is a titanium made watch. Actually, it's not. Uh, if you look at the uh, case back. You can slightly say it says, it says titanium and stainless steel. Now, what it means is that the solid case back is actually stainless steel. It is not titanium. Uh, only the rest are, are made of titanium. Uh, and I was also made to understand that even the buckle, uh, which has a very nice uh, stone heart uh, logo uh, etched on it, is also made of titanium. Um, so. Now that's that's a bit, you know, I think misleading, and this could affect uh, the franchise value uh, if uh, they don't correct that perception uh, going forward. Another issue which I also have, I don't know sure whether you can see it, but you can just like in the video. Let me let me put down this watch properly, and then you can actually see it. Uh, let me focus. Note, note this, this, the anchor points for the uh, case back. As you can see, there's some very deep scratches uh, on it, um, and uh, I I believe those scratches was due to the fact that the the equipment uh, used to screw down this case back uh, is uh, is slightly uh, flawed and, and it caused uh, those scratches uh, at those anchor points. Now I think this is a poor QC from Steinhardt. I'm not sure why they allowed this watch, this particular example of watch to actually pass the QC. Um, but uh, that is very, you know, I get cheesed off because I would expect that you not get any obvious scratches uh, on a watch especially when you buy it straight from the manufacturer uh, here you do see it and I, I'm, I'm quite cheesed off about it now I won't return this back uh, because I think this is a uh, because I don't it's a bit it's minor and I can't be bothered the hassle of actually throwing it back to them uh, to, to change it so so these are the these are a couple of things which I wanted to highlight about this watch um, now, overall, I like it. Uh, it's very comfortable uh, since it's made mostly of titanium, so it's actually light, only 144 grams uh, all in. Um, uh, and, and in terms of value, yeah, it's just about, I think it's, it's a fair value, 670 US dollars when I bought this watch. Um, I think it's fair, uh, but they have to, I think Steinhardt will have to get their act together and make sure that you know, all these uh, basic problems like the QC uh, uh, are not uh, are, are settled as fast as possible because it would really affect their branding. Uh, and, and another thing, uh, you know, you, you also, in fact, if you look at the, the dial itself, it's, it's, it's written professional. Now, so I assume it meant as a professional diver. Now, a leather strap is not for professional driver, uh, dive, uh, divers you need to have so if if Steinhardt wants to make sure that this is deemed as such uh, I would seriously recommend that in the watch there box is an now. extra pair of straps uh, either silicone or rubber so that a professional diver can replace it if, if he or she wants to take a dive in it um, so um, yeah uh, the QC issue uh, and, and all that, these are some of the major things that need to be done to ensure that um, reputation wise, uh, Steinhardt remains uh, something that uh, people can respect uh, as, well, as far as uh, watchmaking is concerned. Um, overall, um, I'm fine with the watch um, uh, and I look forward for uh, uh, more new designs from uh, Steinhardt that is um, not a homage to anything else. Uh, thank you so much.